What if Deku had Obito's powers? I'm gonna do a quick one today. And I'll do the movie next after this. So, they're fighting off one Deku and um, All Might right before the battle. I'm gonna say Deku gives All Might Setsu cells fully where he's healed and he can heal during battle and stuff. So, that's what happens. And so All Might can heal during the battle from now on. So he, I'm going to say, it, he causes All Might to get 20 years younger, I'm going to say. So he has 20 more years on his lifespan and stuff. So we're finding one for all. He's at full power. So um, what's happening is that every time like a fail. Like a blow is about to hit All Might. Deku calmly leaves it through All Might. Almost like Pyramid. Um, like it's going through him. Like using. I forget what it's called. Permanization. And stuff. So. That's what's happening. And. And. That helps All Might beat. I'm gonna say whenever All Might misses a punch, Deku commonly uses his punch into him, so he's landing every punch from now on. And like, Deku's also defending All Might from attack, so pretty much, Deku is the aim, the defending, and the yeah, the f defending the aim and the... Yeah, that's what he's doing from now on. For All Might. And people seeing him defend All Might from any, like, blows. Because I'm going to say All For One's using every quirk he got. Instead of using, like, air pressure punches. Like, he's actually trying instead of being cocky. Using a whole bunch of different quirks. And then he's fighting. All Might gets a million percent smash through a commonly. Uh, not through a commonly, but through it. And yeah, um, um, Obito gets credit for helping defeat, um, All For One by, by All Might saying that he actually defended me from attacks. That were gonna hit me and making sure all my hits hit him in all the right spots. So he gets the credit as the defender, the defender of the symbol of peace. So that's like really cool. And all that license exam. People see him; they know of his powers, but he doesn't really care because he is like that much strong. And so. So they're fighting and people trying to hit him, but he phases all the what he does. He, he puts them down his chest and stuff, and like he walks into battle with all the balls coming away. Wait, going through him, and right behind him is the Kamui putting it in his portal, and he's picking up every ball. And what he does, he does. He gets a whole bunch of balls from people and he does world devastation. And what happens, what he was training for was p picking up Pacific items. So he was like, only pick up sand, only pick up trees, only pick up rocks. So he only picks up balls. And what he does, he's slamming it to the ground. But then he uses Almighty Push and Almighty Pull. Um, launching them everywhere, hitting, almost take, taking out half of the people, except his team, because Almighty oh Push was protecting them, that's what that was for, and to redirect all of them, and if one of them were going to hit them, he, like, come on with it somewhere else. So that happens, he gets past all the leftover balls that were there, he he does a, 
he like gathers them up and gives them to his team and stuff. So if he passes that it's the fight between all of them. I'm going to say Deku wins because they're both pure mealing, but he can dodge any moves that he throws at him. I'm just going to add the movie into this. So they're at the movies, or the movie. So he's on the plane with All Might for healing him. And we'll say um, that. So is the big three, or the Miriam. So Miriam's there. Plus he's there. He's just with All Might because he still won the sports festival. And stuff. So they get there. He meets Melissa. Melissa's high and stuff. So they're friends and stuff. They meet Dave. Dave notices that his power actually went up a lot more, but it's but it's still not a hundred percent. And he's like, and like as he's talking, more power it just drops like a little bit more. And he's like, your power looks like it's getting like taken away and stuff. And like he does all the stuff. They go meet all that because um, Mario's there. They do the little. Cross the Sam. I'm gonna say Deku goes last, and like he does, he does Majestic Fire Destroyer Jutsu, and he melts the whole area down. And they say he had to destroy no robots, not my business or something like that. And he said whoever gets first would, whoever got first gets to whoever they want to the losers so what he does he draws on their faces and I'm gonna say one fall also had stuff draw on his face permanently because nobody washes his face so he has boo boo -like eyes and stuff on him and that happens they go to the little um, ball dance, I guess. I think it's locked down. What I want to say is that Deku Kamali's onto the side of the roof. Um, people try to follow him, but once they stick their head through, they see him standing on the side of a wall. And he says, I can only take one of you at a time. But he's like, oh yeah, at wood style. He says, wood style, wood clone jutsu. He picks up all of them. I'm gonna say Bakugo and Todoroki. Todoroki and Gate get up there by freezing the ice on the side of it and kind of going upwards. Bakugo just um, um, shoots himself up there. So we get, uh, get to the top. Then he takes out his gumbo, takes out the sword on it, and cuts through. Getting in, and the person with that little metal cork on his hands. He cuts straight through that. Dude puts the metal thing on his head because it's all metal. He does fire destroyer jutsu. Melting it turns into like magma. Or the dude couldn't move it or anything. Dude's freaking out. And he sets his no, he does lightning style and it hits the dude, creating a huge Lightning to hit the top of the roof, striking him down. I'm gonna put Slash Movie on this. He wins and all that, and that's it. Slash Movie for this one. And this is where All Might gets healed, I'm gonna say.